Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new and in today's video as you could tell by the title we're going to be reviewing the e.l.f. liquid glow halo glow filter let me read it the e.l.f. halo glow liquid filter this is a glow booster for radiant skin um I have the shade 5 medium tan it looks quite deep but we're going to see what we could do with it. I don't know why I keep ordering shades that are too deep for me. I did that in the last video. But um, so basically, this is marketed as kind of like a booster for your skin. So you can use it on its own under foundation mixed in with foundation. And it's supposed to give you more of like a natural glow. Um, apparently, this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've never personally tried that. But I wanted to get my hands on this because I thought it seemed like a really cool product. So this product is infused with squalene and hyaluronic acid. It creates a skin enhancing soft focused effect for effortless radiance. So wear alone over makeup mixed with foundation. You could use it as like a highlighter too on the skin. So let's just get into it. I'm going to go ahead and do my typical skin prep and then we're going to get into the video. Okay, so the skin is nice and prepped and we're gonna just get into it. So the product has a really nice big dofa applicator, which I absolutely love. I'm this is the tone. And I'm just gonna put it all over as if it was like my foundation. I'm gonna try it alone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like do my makeup over it but this is gonna be like my base, depending on the coverage, because I'm a full coverage type of gal. What is up with me picking like orangey shades lately? There's honestly not too many shades in this, but it says that the shades are universal to adjust to skin tones, so. So despite it being kind of deep, very deep, every time I'm here, it, I look orangey, but when I change like to go right in front of the natural lighting, it doesn't, I don't know. So it definitely makes my skin look nice and glowy. Um, it doesn't have too much of a coverage, but I don't really expect it to. I guess it would be pretty because it gives you a nice glow and a little bit of a tint. Um, you know to wear out without it but personally right now i'm having some hormonal breakouts and i want those covered so i'm gonna go in and kind of tweak this but i like the way it looks it's also lightweight on the skin which i think is great for summer so over it's just some of the areas that i think i need more coverage i'm gonna go in with my clinique beyond perfecting in gold and neutral we're gonna add that. And I wanna see if it like changes the way that my foundation looks. Like, does it give me more of like a nice glow? So we're gonna see. Yeah, so definitely my foundation gave me a little bit more coverage. But what I like is that even though I added an extra step into my routine, um, my skin, it just doesn't feel heavy. It's very lightweight. So I actually think the combination of these two, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and the e.l.f. Halo Glow is a really nice combo. I'm going to go ahead and finish off my makeup. I'm going to go into some concealer. This is the e.l.f. Camo. Now, like, I definitely see more of a radiance through the foundation. As I'm adding product, I feel like my skin has a nice a glow to it like a natural glow which I especially like because it's summer so we definitely want that so here it is with more of like the natural lighting it was a little darker from this way so but yeah my skin looks nice and radiant and I didn't need to add too much of my foundation to get you know the coverage that I wanted or the concealer so I like that a lot I'm going to go in with the Soul Body um, Face and Body Bronzing Balm in shade Dark. Never even understood the point of like putting like a glow 
glowy type of thing under the makeup but it makes so much sense it just creates such a different look if you're going for it like it really does yeah i don't know i'm liking this a lot like i really didn't have to use too much of my foundation so everything feels so lightweight the only reason why i went into the foundation is a i thought the shade was a little too deep and i wanted a little bit more coverage in my problem areas and um it did just that i think that it would be really pretty too if i were to mix them on my hand and blend it in i'm very happy next i'm going into my sephora micro smooth powder and tan i love this to set my face and then wipe off the excess powder yeah everything is blending out so flawlessly i like it a lot i feel like my skin looks very flawless and like i feel like i have a little glow from within even though i use like all my setting powders and stuff sorry if you can hear my dogs they're going a little crazy i'm gonna go into my kylie's cosmetics bronzer and tommy mommy the best bronzer I'm gonna go into my sephora and pantone universe blush in apricot brandy this is so pretty obsessed It just, it literally has some glow to it. Oh, it's so pretty. I think my skin looks so pretty. I'm so happy. I'm going to set my face. Okay. So that is the final look. I didn't really know what to expect with this product because I've never really used something like it. If I ever wanted to glow like underneath my foundation, I'd go in with like a liquid highlighter, like my Becca Cosmetics one. But I like this. I love the applicator. The applicator makes me so happy. I like that you can wear it on its own. Um, I would definitely probably, when I use it on its own, I'd use a concealer, powder, and stuff. Um, just because A, it's a little bit deep for me, but B, also, I look for more full coverage. But this definitely had like a decent amount. It, it could be buildable, and I love the way it looks underneath the foundation, and I didn't need too much foundation um over top of it so i feel like i applied much less product to the skin which i think is great for summer because sometimes you know you could sweat off the makeup and stuff but i think this product is great not sure if it's a dupe because i never tried the charlotte tilbury but um if this is similar i know i'd fall in love with both of these products and i i love this product i'm definitely going to continue using it i can see a difference in the way that just my makeup is laying and i love it you guys let me know what you guys think down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to a like comment down below your thoughts if you've tried it if you haven't why or why not and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you guys in the next one It's just pretty.